there's all these like abandoned carts of mulch everywhere. Like there's one right there. There, abandoned cart of mulch, cart of mulch. And there's another one right up there on the right. Is this like a problem I don't know about? Good morning, lawn care nuts. Hey, so it's 4th of July weekend. This is uh, like the biggest lawn care weekend of the year for me. So got a lot going on. Today's video is gonna be all about Melorganite summer application. You guys know that I put down an application of Melorganite always on the weekend of July 4th every single year. But it'll be more than just putting down Melorganite. I'm actually gonna tell you everything step by step how I do it, even though I've done that before. It's always good to reiterate things. And I'm also gonna answer the very most common question that I get on this channel. But first, I've got to get some gas for my lawnmower. Got a showing today on the house. I actually started mowing yesterday and wasn't able to finish so I've had to go all night with a half cut lawn that's really difficult for me to do true that you eat gluten-free? Sometimes. Sometimes. All right, so you guys know that I put down an application of Melorganite every single year on July 4th. It's just what I do. Today's actually July 3rd, so I'm a day ahead, but uh, the July 4th weekend. And so here is actually the biggest question that I get on the channel. The biggest question by far of any other question is people ask me, Alan, what setting should I put my spreader on for Melorganite? Or really, what setting should I put my spreader on for any fertilizer? So I understand why you asked that question, but you're gonna have to understand, I cannot answer that for you. And I'm gonna tell you why. So you'll see on the back of every bag, here, let me show you. There are actual settings, see right here? So Melorganite gives you some settings here, like if you have an Earthway even spread spreader and they give you model numbers, then they're kind of telling you setting number 19. The issue with that is, is it's never gonna be right. What's more important is to understand how big of a lawn area you're treating and then how much you need to put down to get the right coverage for that area. And then walking speed is really gonna be the key in making sure that you get down a good application. So the best advice I can give you is set your spreader in the middle and then gauge. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about how to gauge how much fertilizer goes down. I've done a whole video on this. I'll link it right up here for you or maybe over there. Um, but either way, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you again in, in a quick tutorial right here. Okay, for the Melorganite, you can see here, right? covers up to 2,500 square feet, right? And then this bag is 36 pounds. 36 divided by 2.5. What, you didn't actually think I was gonna do math like by hand, did you? 36 divided by 2.5. So that means 14.4 pounds per 1,000 square feet. So I can now section my lawn off into 1,000 square foot areas. And then I can load my spreader with basically 15 pounds of product. And if I can get that 15 pounds of product spread evenly across that 1,000 square foot area, then I know that I've got my setter spread in the, set in the right place and I know that I'm walking at the right speed. Now trust me, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Alan, seriously man, am I really gonna do that? And the answer is yes, for the first couple times, you're gonna have to understand what it feels like to walk at the right speed with your spreader on a proper setting to get down the right amount. Once you understand that speed and you have the feel for it, it's almost like riding a bike, you won't forget it. Then it's easier time after time after time. So we got our measurements, basically 15 pounds per 1,000 square feet. Now we have to measure off the lawn area that we're actually gonna treat to see how many bags we need or how many pounds we're gonna have to put down. So let's do that. Let's measure off an easy spot here in my lawn. We're gonna do the front and the parkway. Okay, so I used to have a long tape for this kind of measuring, but I've lost it. So I'm gonna have to use a 
25 foot measuring tape. This is gonna take a little bit longer, but the idea is we need to get the square footage of the area that we're gonna fertilize, and to do that, we need to get length and width. So it's length times width will give you square footage. Okay, so now we've got 25 feet measured. Let's keep on going. This is why this is a little bit. So what do we got? Right to the edge, 20 feet. So we had 25 plus 20 is 45. So 45 feet would be the width of this lawn area. So let's write that down right here. 45 W. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the length, but I'm not gonna film it so quite so poetically this time. Okay, so now that was 61 feet, so we're gonna write that down here. So I don't know if you can see that, 2,745 square feet. So this area that I have is just over 2,500 square feet. Okay, but there's one more thing to consider here, and that is that this area is not a complete square. Now, the first thing is, for that area there, I did skip over the sidewalk. So we have effectively eliminated the sidewalk because I took it out of the length, so that was easy. But as you notice, this area over here, it's pretty square. But then when you get up there, you see the lawn extends down underneath there, and the sidewalk in this landscape bed cut off a good portion of square footage. So Alan, what's the dilemma? Well, this is where it's okay to guess. The good thing about using organics like malorganite is they're not gonna burn anything, so if you put down too much, you're gonna be okay. Now, I'm not telling you to go willy-nilly and go nuts and crazy, but it's okay once you've done a measurement like this, if you've got cutout areas, to go ahead and estimate. So I'll give you one guess as to how much square footage I'm gonna take out for that landscape area. So some of the more astute among you may have remembered that there's a little factoid here and that is that one full bag covers 2,500 square feet. So if I've got a little bit of landscape area to go ahead and subtract, guess how much? I'm going to subtract 245 square feet, that way I can get a perfect 2,500 square foot area over here. And just between you and me, that bed is about 200 square feet, so I'm pretty close. I'm also super lucky, but that's how it is being a lawn care nut. So far we've learned that malorganite goes down at 14.4 or 15 pounds per 1,000 square feet. We've also learned how to measure the lawn, which I've done here, and we've learned that I'm very lucky in that this area is 2,500 square feet, so my math is pretty easy. I put down one full bag, which happens to be 36 pounds. So I told you what I do is, is I set my spreader in the middle setting and I walk at three and a half miles per hour. Your mileage may vary. 3.5 miles per hour is the optimum speed because it's gonna give you a nice even swath meaning it's gonna throw fertilizer out at a good pace on each side. Too fast, and you're gonna throw really thin whippets of fertilizer too far, and you're not gonna get a good application. Too slow, and you're gonna get these jerky swaths that are gonna be heavy and light and heavy and light. Three and a half miles per hour is a good pushing speed. It's kinda of like a super fast walk. Putting some ass into it, if you remember from my first video. So I always do the trim passes just a little bit lighter, and that's because we throw into them throughout the entire process here. So we don't want to over fertilize the edges. Now I did use an edge guard in a video a couple weeks ago that I'll link to if that's something that you want to do. Otherwise, I'm just eyeballing my edge here. One bag of malorganite, 2,500 square feet, and a lot of math, but I've got a proper application down. There's nothing better to do on the Independence Day weekend than to put down some raw first, baby. And that's it, my friends. Thanks for joining me on Independence Day weekend malorganite fertilizing extravaganza. I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for watching. Have a safe holiday weekend, and I'll see you in the lawn.